Uh, is that Misa Misa VR? Oh my god, oh my god. Ah. There's, there's craziness out here, there's Godzillas, there's monsters, there's isekais, there's harems, there's some kind of maid in a, in a, in a shoda. I don't know what's going on. It's 2022. It's 2022. The new anime season is here for the summer of 2022. And everybody wants to stay inside instead of be out in the heat. You know, the parents want to be home in the air conditioning. The kids want to be home in the air conditioning. You know, they'll go have fun, play outside, but then they're going to come inside and be in the air conditioning. Everybody wants to be inside air conditioning. So what are we going to do on the inside when we're watching when we're in air conditioning? We're going to watch anime. What anime are we going to watch? Well, we don't know yet because it's not out yet. It is starting soon, though. New season starts in a few days, even. Some of, some shows probably already started. But July 9th-ish week is around when it'll start for real. All the shows will be coming out by then. And we'll get a, we'll get a new whole few months of anime to watch. The last season, I watched nothing. The season before that, I watched nothing. But I've been watching anime since, like, 1994. So I love anime. I know a lot about anime. I know a lot more about anime than most anime fans, including ones who pretended to like all this old stuff and been watching it for a long time. They're all retarded. I'm not. I'm based. I'm fucking the Don Mega of anime, just like I'm the Don Mega of Juggalo VTubers. So, we're here to talk about yeah, the new anime that's coming out. Um, my, my opinions on some of it, very short, small ones. I don't research these too deeply. Um, and and kind of, I, I've, I've experienced enough to know what I don't, what I'm not going to follow along with, what I have zero interest in, what I might have interest in. And that's what we're going to go. We're going to go the shows I want to watch, the shows I might watch, and the shows I want nothing to do with. And we'll uh, go through each one, read the little description summary things, and we'll see what sounds good, what doesn't. Um, well, not me. We're going to throw it over to the studio with Brad. Just go. Oh, oh, is I? Oh, hello. Welcome to, uh, can't do faces in my chair because I'm a serious newsman. Today, we're going to be looking over the anime. Coming out summer 2022. Uh, here at the, in the newsroom, the Misa Misa newsroom, presented by Fox, Foxy News World. I don't know who. I don't know if that's a VTuber or a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer. Well, it's mine for now. And we're gonna go over this season's anime with Misa Misa me. So let's pull up. Let's pull up the season guide on anachart.net for summer 2022. We're going to sort by title, so it's alphabetical, and we'll just get started. I'm going to pronounce half this shit wrong. Too bad, don't complain, I don't care. I might be a weeaboo, but I'm not that much of a weeaboo. I also say Mako Reactor and Sephiroth. I don't care. I know Suffratism isn't even from Japan. But I'm still going to say how I want to say I even said that. How I want to say it. Deal with it, you loser. You won't like it. Go watch your... Go watch your fucking... Madoka Miyajika and pretend it's something original and new. Get out of my face. You don't know shit about anime. You don't know shit about Japan. While you were... I'm not going to... Do that meme to you. Let's get started when my, my funky chair is sitting. Look at this. Look at my thighs. First up, Buchigire. Let's see what... Yeah. Let's move this over here so I can see it. Oh, oh, of course, VR chat's in my face now. Hold on, everybody. There's breaking news. That was in my way. Buchigire. In the era when Samurai controlled Japan, the mass demon annihilated all but one member of the Shinsengumi who had worked to maintain the peace and public order in Kyoto. Seven criminals are chosen as substitutes for the deceased Shinsengumi members. And they're led by Ichiban Oshi. Ichiban, Ichiban Boshi. His parents were also killed by the mass demons. He becomes a substitute for commander. Oops, whoops, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Isami Kondo. Oh, Kondo, I know Kondo from uh, Gintama mostly. And goes after the mass demons with the other substitutes to avenge his parents' deaths. Former criminals rise up to restore peace and order as the crazy story begins. Now is the time to shine the brightest. 
You know what that sounds like? It sounds like fucking gay garbage. Mostly garbage. Gay in the garbage sense, not in the homosexual sense. No thank you. Red. Card Fight Vanguard. I have no opinion on the Card Fight series. There's like 20,000 seasons of that. Um, I have no interest. This is so far in any way. I wouldn't be able to watch it even if I was interested. I have to start at the beginning. So that's a red. Red doesn't see. See, saying no doesn't necessarily mean, oh, that's a bad show. I know nothing about Card Fight. I've never been interested. So red is just, I'm not going to watch it. Doesn't mean it's bad. So if you like it, whatever. Buchigire, though, I'm going to say is probably shit. And if you like it, you're probably retarded. Dungeon, oh, Donmachi, season fucking four. Donmachi, I have a history with. I loved season one. It was one of my favorite, an, not not favorite anime overall, but of that year, of that season. It was like my anime of the year almost, I think. Maybe it was my anime of the year that year that it came out originally. But um, then season two came out. Now, I loved I loved Don Machi because it was such a great character study of, of Bell. He had such a great arc and, and a great personality and a great progression in his character and a great motivation and it was a really cool world and i loved all of it i love the art i love the i love the world i love the way the rpg kind of stuff worked without being an isekai and yet all those rpg elements were in there even though it was just the world for them not the dot hack world just it was their world and it was cool it was really cool and there's a lot of cute girls hot girls titty girls small titty girls there was girls for everybody and the fight the action scenes not all of them, but some of them were really, really, really big, cool, powerful moments for the main character that were done really well for the viewer, too. And then season two happened, and it sucked. It was supposed to be about um, the, the night girl, the cute one. And instead, instead, it was about her stupid family group, her clan, basically, who are all shitty, boring characters who are invincible, basically. You know, I remember the brown girls, the twins, and they were just dying constantly. But, oh, no, last second, we're fine. We're, we're laughing it off because we're invincible. Where's the fun in watching that? There was no stakes, no anything. And the characters didn't have any development at all. And for some reason, there was some new elf girl that had zero relevance. I think she was an elf. It was stupid. And then I still stuck with it, though. It was bad, but I was like, whatever. It, it was tolerable. And then season three came out. And season three was just utter shit. So season four is a absolute no for me. I couldn't even handle three. Other than like four episodes and I quit. So sadly, again, Don Machi is an absolute no from Misa Misa. And that is because it is shit. Engage Kiss. I can already tell you. An anime set in Baylong City, an artificial island city established outside. Blah, 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 blah. No, thank you. It's a harem. You can see... The image is four girls and a guy, and it just looks like an edgy heron with a lowly. Which is whatever, it's just not for me. And it just sounds boring and stupid as shit. Mining resources. Orgonium has resulted in an outbreak of D-disasters by demons in the city. PMCs are tasked with killing these D-disasters. Oh, his ex-girlfriend is an elite agent? I don't care. Extreme Hearts. The story of Extreme Hearts is set in the near future and the hobby of hypersports has become popular among children and adults. The story focuses on Hiyori Hiyama, a second year high school student who initially has no connection to hypersports, but after a chance encounter, this begins to change as Hiyori and her friends grow closer and pursue their athletic dreams. Now, the image for this, as you can see, looks like an idol shit show. I don't deal with idol shit. It's garbage. It's for children, like the actual children. There are some good children shows in, in Japan. They have some good anime for kids. That's still enjoyable as an adult. Idle shit is garbage. If you like idle shit, turn my videos off. Unsubscribe. You are a trash person. I have zero interest in knowing you or ever being your friend or ever communicating with you, even through a video on the internet. I want to know you don't exist anywhere other than on your own away from me. And this looks like that, but the description's about sports. And if it's like a girls trying different crazy sports stuff maybe it could be fun i might try an episode just to see that first episode or maybe the first two the three episode rule is a bullshit thing made up by normies who don't actually watch anime so i don't follow this stupid three episode rule but i will watch two i will watch one or two depending if it's something that slightly interests me but i'm not sure about i'll give it a, a, an episode two and if it's you know shit i drop it now here's the first one i'm super excited about Hadaraku mao sama two uh, this is 
as I know, is Dungeon is a part. D Devil is a part timer, part two. Um, Devil is a part timer is one of my favorite anime comedies ever. Not my favorite, but one of my top favorites. It's really funny the whole time. The characters are wonderful. The girls are cute. The two girls that he's like, which I already know the ending. I won't spoil it for anybody watching this who don't know. But the ending pissed off a bunch of the fucking idiot fans who didn't even pay attention to the show or the manga, I guess, or the, I, have, I think, light novels it's based on. Maybe not. Maybe it's just manga. But who didn't pay attention to the original story, didn't pay attention to the anime, and they got all mad because their their favorite girl, as usual, their favorite girl lost, which in this case, their favorite girl is the person you expect to win. That's the only spoiler. That's the closest to a spoiler I'll give you. Um, but I'm excited to watch this. The problem is, now, as much as I love... Devil's a part-timer. And also for the record, no, just because I know the English title for it in my head mostly, no, I did not watch it dubbed. Um, I didn't like the... Was it? Yeah, no, I didn't like the dub at all because they messed up all the funny language stuff early on with him and how he how he talks. Um, also, McRonald's is my favorite of the fake McDonald's in the anime. I love McRonald's. I don't know why. It's just that name is... I like it. But season two, finally coming out after all these years, it's been like a decade or more, um, is Studio 3 HD, 3 Hertz. The only thing they've ever made that I, that I can think of is uh, Dimension W, which was a fine show. It was pretty boring and unmemorable. Uh, you know, very unremarkable show. But it looks all right, like graphically, and it, I watched it, and it was fine. Like, you know, six, seven out of ten probably a six. I don't know what I gave it on, you know, um, an analyst. I don't use my anime list. I use analyst now, um, for reasons we're not going to get into right now. But, um, so I'm excited, but I'm worried because it's this new company. The art sucks compared to the first season. It looks generic and bland now, but it's not like they're writing it. And just because the only show I've seen from them, it was bland and boring doesn't mean they'll mess this up. So I'm I'm excited, but I'm a little concerned. Next, one I am super excited about, very hopeful for, very excited for, worried about, because it's been a long time. Lucifer and Biscuit Hammer, or uh, Hoshino Samidare in Japanese, was, and probably still is, but it's been a long time. So I, I read it when it was like just completed. So a long time ago. I think I was in fucking college still. Maybe out of college. So like 2009, 2010 maybe. Maybe before that. I think either either right before or right after that. It was either I was in high school or I just got out of college. And I loved it. It was one It was like my one of my top five, top three manga ever. And I don't read manga that much anymore. So it's kind of stayed there. But I haven't gone back to it. So, for one, I can't vouch for how good the show will be because I don't remember how good the manga actually was or where my head was at the time and what I enjoyed about it, this or that. I remember a few things, a few key moments. Not really. I, I remember a few. I remember the edgy part. I remember a character dying. I don't remember which character dying, but I remember a character dying. You know, I, I remember vague things. It's been very long, but I loved it. And to see it finally getting an anime after all these years... I'm very excited about it. I'm very... It's the first time... It's, it's one of the first anime in a long time that I've been actually really excited to see. Even more than, you know, Devil's Part-Time or so. Because that's just the season two. I'm, I'm pretty excited for that one, too. But this one, I never expected this an anime because it's been so fucking long. So I'm, I'm pretty... It's pretty cool that it's finally going to happen. Hopefully it's good. Um, next, I can tell you no right away. The title... The first word in the title is Isekai. Fuck Isekai. For retards. For retards and gays. Not homosexual gays. Maybe them too. Gays like shit, garbage, trash, gays. Gays like I grew up in, you know, I'm a 90s kid, so deal with it. Oh, whoops, wrong way. I'll have to look this way so I can pretend. I mean, I mean, I can, I can look at the paper, not pretend to look at the paper. Uh, on the list next is Isekai Make You De Haram Wo. Okay, so I, I shouldn't have jumped the gun there. I, I will look at that. Look at what I can do with my neck. Roop, roop. Um, sitting in VR chat is weird. Isekai make you de harem wo. So it doesn't just have isekai as the first word. It has harem as the fourth word. I have zero interest in isekais and even less interest in harems. Boom, boom. It's a done deal. No thank you. 
Guess what's next in this alphabetically ordered list? Isekai Oji-san. Two shows in a row titled Isekai right away. No, thank you. Don't care. Oh, what do you think the next show is? Third, third in a row, Isekai Yakyoku. Another Isekai. I don't fucking care. Oh, here's the one I'm actually excited for. Another one I'm excited for. Josh and Chan Dropkick X. This is the third season of Josh and Chan, which season two was all right. It wasn't as good as the first. Season one was amazing. It was a throwback. It all is. Season two was also a throwback. Josh and Chan in general is a throwback to old anime comedy style. It's not like current comedy anime. It's like the old stuff from like the not. not uh, <clears throat> it's like 90s and early 2000s comedy anime. Very, very reminiscent of that. And I love it for that exact reason. Not because of nostalgia. It's not nostalgic. It's new, but it's like that. And I love that. It's it's really fun. It's really, you know, it's it's really enjoyable. Um, season two, it was still good. It was like, it went from like a fucking 10 out of 10 for me down to an 8 or 7. So I, I don't know if that trajectory is going to keep going downward or if it'll come back up or it'll stay right there. As long as it stays right there. I'll be good with it. I'll, I'll watch it because I really, even even when it was kind of mediocre in that second season, it was still fun, still brought me back to then. So I guess nostalgic again, um, and was really a lot of a lot of good cute comedy in there, even even during the less interesting, less fun stuff in that season. Hopefully, it goes back to season one quality, but I doubt it. But I am looking forward to it, and I do recommend if you haven't seen any Josh and Chan, go back and start season one, or at least just watch season one. It's really fun. If you, if especially if you used to watch anime in the early 2000s or in the late 90s and you enjoyed the comedy stuff back then, because it is exactly like that. It's pulled straight out of back, back then, like time travel. Um, next, Kami Kuzu Idol. It's an idol show. No. Next, Kanojo Grimish. Uh, is this that stupid, like, rent a girlfriend or whatever? No, thank you. I don't care. It's season two of some garbage. Here I'm shit. Romance for losers who don't... I love romance. Romance anime is my number one genre of anime and manga. But this kind of shit is not romance. This is garbage for losers and simps and shitty people and trash people. This kind of show. This is not a romance. I wish they would stop calling them romances. It's a shitty shit show for shit people like you. Next, it's a fucking light novel title, so it's 10 trillion words long. And, oh, etchy fantasy. I should have just looked at the tags. I have no interest in etchy shit. Not because I have a problem with fan service. In fact, I love fan service like anybody would. And it's a man and has testosterone, hasn't removed their testosterone with hormone blockers and ruined their life and their body. But, etchy stuff has a place. And, and in the shows, the context, it has to be fun. So the show still has to be good. I have zero interest in a show that's just, not zero, it depends. Like for some, for example, what was it called? I forget what it was called, but the show with the angels um, that are all massive tittied and slutty and the boy changes sex sometimes into a really cute girl with magic stuff. Like that one actually had a really good story behind it too. It wasn't just a harem, etchy fan service show. It had a show and it had fan service. That I'm fine with. I don't want to sit there. I don't, I, I, it's not that I'm complaining about these shows like they shouldn't exist. I don't care that they exist. That's fine. It's for me, I have zero interest in watching a show to jerk off to that I'm not going to jerk off to. If I'm going to masturbate, I'm going to watch hentai or I'm going to watch a better show that also I can jerk off to. Sorry, but everybody jerks off and I had to, I'm not going to tiptoe around why people watch these shows. I don't need to sit there watching a horny show that has nothing else to it for 24 minutes a week. It's a waste of time. Time I could be playing more video games, times I could be not wasting on that. And that's what I like to do. I like to not waste my time on etchy shit when there's no, there's nothing quality beyond, oh, but there's titties. And sometimes there's scenes where somebody falls on the titties. Like, I need more than that. I'm not 10. KJ File. The story is set in a world where unique kaiju suddenly begin to appear in various places around the world. Members of the United Nations Monster Observatory will explore a world where kaijus with great powers and humankind live together. This one, I, I know nothing about this one. But kaijus can be cool. You know, the big monsters like Godzilla and stuff are kaijus, if you don't know. And that could be interesting and fun. So I intend to... It's a yellow for me. 
watch an episode or two, see if it's even remotely interesting to me. But I bet you, if you like if you like that kind of stuff, kaiju's and stuff, I, I bet you it'll be good for that type of crowd. So you should check it out. Um, I'll try it. No promises on keeping up with it though. Kumicho Musume to Sewagakari. Kishimatoru is the right-hand man of the Sakuragi crime family. For him, oh, I know, I remember this reading this one. So this show, this Kumicho's show, I don't know what else to call it. I'm not going to say the whole title. Is like, um, I don't, oh, I got an itch, sorry. The main character is taking care of the daughter of, like, his Don, of his crime family. And, um... I, I thought at first, I was like, oh, it's going to be some stupid, shitty, etchy romance thing or some gay shit like that or some, I don't know. But it's an actual little girl. It's an actual daughter, like a little daughter, not like a teenager. It's a kid. So it's it's going to be like that other show I didn't watch still because it was Netflix and like crappy quality animation stuff, mostly because it was Netflix. The stay-at-home Yakuza guy or whatever, who's the Yakuza single father. I'm wondering if it's going to be like that. It sounds fun. It sounds like it could be that. So I'm going to try it out for sure. Because it could be very cute and silly and fun. Um, so I'm, I, I would like to try that one. I'm going to try that one. It's yellow. Kuro no Shokanshi. Waking up in a strange new place with no memory of his past life. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't there a word for that? Hmm. It's almost like it came up multiple times already. That's a red from me. Love Live Super, super Shit Show. Licorice Recoil. stupid no thank you made in abyss season two i wish i could be excited about this but made in abyss season one completely ruined itself in the last part of it there's that retarded bitch that's like 10 feet tall there's no explanation for her. she's just supposed to be a normal human but she's 10 feet tall and bends her body in weird ways that doesn't work and then there's more importantly than her even she ruined the show for me already but i kept stuck i stuck with it i was like whatever i'll deal with it then there's the super edge lord, like shown an evil villain guy. Oh, I'm evil and I mutate children. I, I I test on children. Like really, that's that's what you're gonna throw in there. Why can't it just be a fun adventure show into the abyss and this giant cave thing that goes millions of miles down? Because it's shitty shit by a shit fucking retard. That's why. Okay. So no thanks. I'm not a fucking twelve year old who's oh edgy edgy. And that stupid fucking monster thing she's got for a friend. Mamahama no Surego ga Motokano Data. Yeah, high school. Is there any bloody place to start after high school? Really? Oh, this is. I know this one. I read this one before, too. Big red. Big red X, for the record. Redder than the Fago shirt. Redder than my Fago hair. It's. His ex girlfriend's parent marries his parent. And now his ex-girlfriend is his sister, and he wants to keep fucking his sister, who's his ex-girlfriend, but he also wants to fuck another girl. If, you're li if you like this kind of shit, then again, go away from my channel. Don't talk to me. Don't watch my content. Don't read my stuff on my blog. Fuck off. Go away. I don't want to remember you exist. This is for trash people. So if you're trash people, shoo shoo, fuck off. Orient, second season of some Chinese shit. Overlord 4, I would like to watch Overlord. I haven't gotten around to it, so I can't jump into Season 4. So it's a red because I'm four seasons behind. But I, it seems like an interesting, fun show, so I'll get around to it eventually. I know it's an isekai, but there are some that I'm okay with. Prima Doll, Cafe, Corona, Corona, Nekote, but it's an unusual roster of employees, a group of automata, or autonomous mechanical dolls, or their patients don't care about lowly robots serving people tea. Uh, Shaft Show, Rinmei, Kyugu, Kyoko. I don't watch Shaft Show. I pretty much dropped those. Trigger, I refuse 100% to watch. Shaft is about 80 to 90% I refuse to watch. Trigger, I will not engage with no matter what. Um, they're a trash company, makes trash shows. Objectively trash. Like, it, the frame rates and shit, the art quality, there's no excuse for any of it. You can't just say it's on purpose because it's a joke or this or that. They are bad they are a bad studio that makes objectively bad anime. You might like the stories, but the actual animation and stuff is objectively trash. There is not, it's not an opinion. It's its lower frame rate than it should be. It's lower quality. The frames are drawn worse each one compared to other anime, compared to anime for the past 20 fucking years. It's not, it's not an acceptable animation studio. 
Plus, everything they make is garbage trash, story-wise, too, for, again, trash that needs to turn this video off and go away. Complete shit. For people who don't actually like anime, that's what Trigger is. That's why you will refuse to watch anything for Trigger. It's anime for non-anime fans to pretend they like anime. Which I've gone on a rant about during my Harvest Moon videos. Um, which aren't up yet. Uh, RWBY, uh, I, mean, I think people pronounce it Ruby. I refuse to because it doesn't say Ruby. It says RWBY. And I don't care. I've never cared. It's a Chinese-American guy wrote a shitty story. I really couldn't give a fuck less about Chinese or Chinese-Americans or their shitty stories or manhua or whatever you want to call it. Just fuck off. I don't care. Keep your CG shit away from me. And I know this is going to be like a non-CG version. I still don't care. It's trash. Written by a fucking retard. Saikin Yatoto Mega Nitoda Yatada. I don't care. I told you I'm not going to even try to pronounce these right. I don't care about pronouncing them right. Made Gayashi. This show I read about too. And it's this brown maid who's kind of hot. Um, like flirting. Trying to get her... her the person, the, the the son of the family she's working for to be horny for her and fuck him, and I was like, oh, never mind. Um, it sounds like another one of those things where it just, it would just be boring. Like there's no show to it beyond that, and it also seems like the teasing kind of genre. Even though the kid's like it's too, it's like I think the other thing was like the kid doesn't understand what she's doing while he's also into it, but he doesn't get it. One that seems a little weird. Seems a little weird. I just mean it. It seems the the way they're presenting it seems really, I don't know, uncomfortable there a little bit. And also, but more more importantly, I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna watch it because it seems like shit. Like it's just not gonna be fun, because it seems like those teasing anime again. And I could tolerate one of those for three 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 fourths of one season, and then I got really irritated and bored, and the formula was overdone already. I don't need to watch some girl try to get some boy horny and the boy not understanding and trying to do something back and then horny back and forth without everything happening. I don't care. Uh, it's not fun. It's not interesting. It's boring. It's boring no matter how big her titties are, no matter how much they're in your face, no matter how how these this, this chemistry between them will be. It would be fun for maybe half an episode. I'm not going to waste my time. Shadow's House second season. I know nothing about Shadow's House. I don't even recall the name ever coming up before, but apparently it was from this year or last year. Um, my friend watched it. He liked it. I'll check it out at some point, but season two, can't jump in there. Um, somehow Prince of Tennis is still going. This is the sequel to an OVA, but it's a TV show. Prince of Tennis has been around since the 90s. I guess they're still making it. No interest for me. Not to say Prince of Tennis is bad. I did watch early stuff of it. Um, I think like the fucking the first whole season or two, way back, and it was it was fine. It was a fine sports show. It wasn't amazing or anything though. Shine Post Idol Group no. Soccer show no. Generic rom com, but not the fun good kind. No thanks probably. Um. Shogi romance? I don't know. I don't. I'm not interested. They play shogi and they secretly love each other, and neither one has the balls to say it. Apparently, and they probably use shogi as in a cute way or something. I, I'm not interested. But if you haven't seen a lot of rom-coms, maybe that could be fun for you. But I recommend better rom-coms from the past. Tensei Kenji no Isekai Life Isekai. No thank you. You know, not even thank you. Not even no thank you. Just no fuck you. No comma fuck you. Even the first sentence, getting isekai to a magical e isekai is now an adjective. Teppen, yayoi sakum. Oh, this is the, so Teppen with the 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's like 20 exclamation marks after that. I can't read them using VR. Teppen is, it seems, I, I think it's a slice of life comedy about a bunch of girls trying to be comedians, trying to be professional, like, comedians. Um, being Japan, I assume they're going to try and be the straight man, funny man kind of duo. Like, um, oh, what's their name? You know, Matsumoto and, uh, the eight, what's his name? The monkey guy. Um, not the other monkey guy. The monkey guy and Matsumoto. And, and, you know, Kokoriko and all of them. So it's probably that kind of comedy, which is fine with me. I feel like I've watched an anime a few years ago that was comedy, girls trying to comedy. And it was fun. 
So hopefully this is fun too. Tokyo Mew Mew new. I'm probably not going to watch it now, but eventually. Tokyo Mew Mew, I, I, I recall Tokyo Mew Mew being something. I don't remember what the hell I remember about it. I don't know. I, I, I never touched it, I don't think. But sure, I'm fine with older style Maho Shoujo stuff. Especially a silly one. That's like silly. Uta, oh, Underwater Ray Romano. I haven't seen none of it. I have zero interest in Underwater Ray Romano. You can keep that. If you like that stuff, though, new season for you. Uh, Warao, Ars Notorious Sun. Magic Academy City of Ashton, where everyone is required to live in dormitories. A close knit group of girls known as Pentagrams pursue their studies. Okay, so this is a slice of life fantasy. A slice of life fantasy, and it's like. Man, like girls at a uh, magic school, witch school, maybe. Well, they're magic school, but like trying to become like magical, not magical girls, like Maho Shoujo type of girls, but like doing magic and, um, yeah, it's like four or five different girls, six different girls, or something like that. Just being slice of life training and magic and stuff. I think that could be really fun. So I'm gonna really, I'm gonna definitely try that one out for a couple episodes, maybe. Um. Source video game, huh? I wonder if it's just a mobile game, video game. But you know what? There has been a couple good. Well, no, actually, Grand Blue Fantasy. That's a mobile game, right? I like that show. Um, I'll give it a shot. Um, Yofukashi no Uta. I know nothing about this, but I've seen the girl with the weird hair, the the circles on her hair with the braids, and. It's something to do with vampires. Um, I don't think I'm going to check it out. If I hear really good things about it in the future, maybe I'll come back to it eventually. But I, I'm not interested enough to bother with it right now. I, I have a hard time watching anime lately. As it is. Like I said, I haven't watched... I don't know if I actually said it. I haven't watched anime the last couple seasons. When I used to watch like 15 shows per season, I kind of got oversaturated over you know, 20 years of doing that. Um, though I'm to a point now where it's like... Mm, I'm going to watch a few, maybe. The lower I keep it, the more likely I am to keep at least watching three or so instead of watching 20 and dropping all of them because I get behind on them. Yoru wa neko to Isho. I don't know anything about this, but it says the cute comedy about living with an adorable furball and the mysterious habits and mannerisms of how cats, house cats are carefully reprodu reproduced. It looks cute. And it's just a cat slice of life walking around being a cat. Sure. There's a show like that. And I like that one, so why not? They also have funny-looking faces, so it could be fun, cute, and weird. Uh, Yakuso Jitsu Season 2 is something that I have no interest in. Harem thing. Drama mystery. Yeah, okay, huh? Whatever you say. Uh, Yuri Deco looks like shit. No, thank you. And that's it. As far as the anime goes. Like, there's movies, OVAs, but there's no reason to get into that stuff, really. Because um, it never comes out in subtitled. Um, so that's my anime picks. Let's actually, I just closed. I think there's like four that I'm three that I'm green and like four more that I'm yellow. Yellow? I'm yellow bellied on. No, yellow belly is being a coward if you didn't know. Let's see. Let's go through real fast. So Devil's Part Timer 2. Absolutely going to watch it. That Extreme Hearts show, I might try. That one's very much on the maybe might try. I probably won't even try it, but I might. Uh, Lucifer and Biscuit Hammer, I, I'm very excited for. Definitely going to watch. Josh and Chan 3, definitely going to watch. Uh, KJ File, maybe. Can we show the, the, the Yakuza dad thing with the little baby? Well, not baby, little girl with the Yakuza guy. I'm going to try. Hopefully it's fun. I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm reading my paper totally. This paper right here. This real paper. You know, if this was my world, it would be a real paper, just so you know. <laughs> but I can't update their world with the different anime coming out, so. And I'm not going to build. I mean, eventually I might make it my own little world. Uh, I have like 12 worlds as it is, maybe 14. Maybe I'll spend the time to make like a newsroom. But this is really good, so I'm I'm good with using this guys. Um Teppen, the comedy girls show, I'm gonna try that. Took a Mimium, very low maybe for now. Uh the the magical girl school slice of life, definitely gonna try it. And the cat the cat slice of life with the little cat. 
So that's what I'm going to try. Um, if I had viewers and I had any intent on having engagement with them, I'd say, oh, what are you going to watch this season? Put it in the comments below. But I don't really give a shit what you're going to watch. You can tell me anyway if you watch this and want to share what you're interested in. I'll probably reply to you because I always feel bad when I don't reply to people. Um, even though YouTube like just doesn't show comments ever, not even in the creator like area. Like It says, oh, five comments waiting approval. There's none. I even turned off that. I just said everybody can post anything. Not even Chinese spam is happening anymore. So I don't know. But if you want, you can share your your picks for the season in there. Um, I will probably also have a text-based version of this on my blog. Uh, 24 frames PS .wordpress.com, I believe is the URL. If not, I'll, I'll put it above my head. Ooh. Ooh. I've run that blog since I was in high school. So like 2002, 2004. I started it to lost eight years, then lost more years again because of GoDaddy hosting. Don't ever sponsor me because I hate you people. And still run it though. Um, I don't post as often now, but I, I, I post whenever I have something to say. And my YouTube, of course, which you're on, so I don't need to tell you the link. And, you know, go to Anna Chart and go look at what you want to watch. It's a pretty good website. I'm not, obviously, my two view videos i don't get sponsorship i just like their website i think amateur it's always been a good once they start once they went from it used to be big jpegs that caught, got posted on like a way back in the day when i did not refuse to go near anime fans and now it's a whole nice website with little buttons to be like i'm gonna watch this one i'm not and if you yeah it's cool um let's start back to misa misa out in the field misa yes thank you misa misa hey this is misa Live with the anime again. Um, we're here to sign out, say goodbye, say thanks for watching. Um, most importantly, and please remember this, everybody watching, this is very important. Fuck off. <laughs>